Psychology, depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me. Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of the new series of Get This Over That when it comes to Shop Miss A. I do always want to preference these with a little bit of a disclaimer that just because I tell you that something is maybe better or best to buy over something else does not mean that that other product is bad. Okay, Miss Shop, Miss, Miss, Miss Shop A. <laughs> Shop Miss A. Um, their products are usually overall good, and I'll let you know if they're horrid, you know? So let's go ahead and get into part two. I have so much to share with you guys that there'll be a lot of these. And I got a really, really good response from you guys last week. So thank you so much for your feedback. And now we have a new series. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now the first thing here are these little palettes that came out that are neon and they're from Starry and they're matte eyeshadows and they have I think three to four different kinds of these and a lot of people wanted to grab them for the vibrancy of the colors to use the gel liners eyeshadows whatever. I would not get these even though they are a dollar they are not the formula is not even worth the dollar. What I would go for in Instead is from A2O, AOA Studios, but A2O, um, Color My World. Now this is a $10 palette. Get it on sale if you can't afford that. But the colors you get in here are everything all at once. All the vibrancy colors and the formulas on these are perfection. You don't have to worry about blotchiness. You don't have to worry that it's not going to perform. These always perform. So I would definitely get this over any other kind of high impact color dollar palettes. Now, we this is new, Malibu Glitz with their blushes. And these are good. I love them. Okay, first the trio blushes. The trio blushes are great and wonderful. They take up a lot of room. Then we have the rose blushes, which since I have been a Shop Miss A shopper for almost a decade now, maybe more, this comes and goes. The rose blushes, it's been on there since forever. It comes and goes. I like them. Really, really like them. However, all of these tend to take up a lot, a lot of room, and you really have to narrow down the blushes, especially if you're like me, you don't have a lot of room, and you're a blush whore. So three blushes that I would tell you to go for. And these, I'm not kidding. These are so good. The first one, the Amuse Matte Blushes. They look, oh, they look big, yes, but they don't take up a lot of room because they're more flat. They have a bigger pan and they stay longer and they are so beautiful. I cannot keep my hand out of this one this month. It's going to be in a favorite. And it is in doll face it's one of the best blushes i've ever owned and then we can move on to the starry blushes they're precious mineral blushes that's it except for the quads um starry can be hit or miss but this is a lightweight long lasting smooth finish they have little dots in them they have all different colors they are amazing and flat and stackable much easier and then lastly amuse Amuse their little rose blushes that these are more so for putting in your purse. They come with a mirror on the back, usually a blush brush back here. You don't want to use, but the product itself is like silk and it's gorgeous and they have gorgeous colors in them. So instead of getting like the bulky, normal kind of blushes, I would get the ones that are more worth it and easier to pack into an organizer. Okay, so I had to get into my empties to talk about this one. First, we have the OKI Hand Sanitizer Spray. This is okay. It's it's good. I think it's like a $1.88, maybe a dollar. It's in lemon. It's not sticky. It's good. But spray hand sanitizers for me, for some reason, just don't feel like they do much. So I would go for the OKI, which I need to repurchase because this was my last one, hand sanitizers. These are so much better, and I believe that they're cheaper, unless this is a dollar two. I don't know. They're both good, but this is superior. So definitely the OKI ones over the other OKI one. <laughs> this series is going to be hard for me because I like so much stuff from Shop Miss A. 
and it's hard to say get this over that for me with a lot of things but it's the hard truth and if anyone knows knows me I'm a hard truth giver and that's why a lot of people either love me or hate me so first we have the AOA lip pops which you guys have heard me rave about these I don't even like lip gloss and these are something that I will love so much I love these I love city girl it's like one of my favorites and then they came out with like recently they came out with their AOA bombshell glosses which are tinted um I like these but not as much as the lip gloss as I like these more pigment because you actually get no color payoff from these and the gloss around them is chunky glitter no glitter, pigment, beautiful gloss, non-sticky. This is also non-sticky, smooth, and they're not that bad, but I would definitely go for the AOA Lip Pops over the bombshells, for sure. Now, if we're talking foundation, I also had to get into my, I tossed that into a pass-on pile. First, we have all of my AOA Pros. They're, they're so superior to basically everything on the site um but you do have other options where did, where did i put it here la colors came out with their dollar 77 dollar 77 um foundation that sucks these are a dollar 55 and probably closer to high end um quality when it comes to found foundation that's why i have so many so when it comes to foundations, not even just the LA Colors, get the AOA Pro over anything else. Unless you're looking for a tint. That's a whole different story. Um, the AOA Pro comes in three different lines. Light, medium, and dark. So you should find your shade range. You should. Let me know if you don't, and I'll send a message to Shop Massey. The next thing are notebooks. Okay, here we go. So... Here are two of my favorite notebooks. I use this for YouTube all the time, and I love these. These are what I'm looking for. Line paper. I can rip out. It has a date. I can do everything that I need to do. I got my Shop Miss A stickers on here. I got my little sloth papers I got from my friend Chanel a long time ago. And then I have this one. I like the ones that have these. And I have not used this too much to a degree yet. I do have something in mind I want to do with this. But then they also have, which A Plus and OKI OK came out with this, $1.88. It's like a lined paper journal, but you can get these for a dollar at the dollar store. So I would say get these because they're the same price as this, if not cheaper. And they're better quality, you get more, and go to the dollar store if you want something like this. Okay, it's not worth the design on the front. It's honestly not. Get these get these not this now highlighters I know that for liquid highlighters Malibu glitz had come out with these and they're not bad at all I did pass one on I think it was this one that I passed on to my sister I still have a bag of makeup for her um just because it's a little bit too dark but this one can actually work for me however and I love how much is in them for the price however the AOA Glow Babies are so superior in quality. Um, you don't need that much, so the little amount actually doesn't matter. You still will take forever to go through this. And I use this constantly. You can use it over powder. You can't use these over powder. Tried that. Messed up my whole face. You can use these over powder. They sell them in a whole kit. Usually that's part of my giveaways. I get the Glow Baby kit. Um, because they're so popular. So I would definitely get the AOA Glow Babies over any other liquid highlighters. And then lastly here, because I don't want to make these too long and I, I don't want to tell you everything at once, lipsticks. I have the new AOA lipsticks here and they're little bullets that look like MAC bullets. And then they're normal AOA just lipsticks. I would get the normal even though the shade range sucks, I think they only have four colors. I, I want to write them and tell them to work on this range 
over making new ones. These ones stink to high heaven. The smell does not go away. They're beautiful. I just wore Lover the other day in a video. They're not horrid, but they stink and they don't stay as well as these do. These do stay on the lips better. They look better and they, the color is better and they don't have a stink, a stink. So I would definitely get these ones over these ones, but they're not bad either. You know, that's what I'm saying. Aoi stuff is good. It's just some of it I personally would pick over other stuff. So that is everything so far. I will not um, link the bad products or the, the pick this over that product, but I will link the products that I think are superior down below in the description box for you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see part three. I will leave my details and everything since I'm so purple today. <laughs> <laughs> down below in the description box for you guys thank you so much for watching and i of course will see you guys in the next one